And we're back now with an online addendum to our program with the children of Viola Liuzzo. We have uh, with us one of her sons who is a proud father. Yes. Now, why should we know about Adrian College? Well, that's my a softball <laughs> lobbed your way there. You can. That's right. My son Joshua uh, graduated from Adrian College, and in doing so, he started a scholarship fund, uh, the Viola Liuzzo Ethics Scholarship Fund for underprivileged children to um, help them with their educational costs. And it is for all, all children, but they have to join the ethics course at Adrian College, which teaches ethical, you know, uh, how to be ethical. And, and what, the, uh, what the ramifications and what the rewards are for being an ethical person and, and how you can put it to use in, in life in general. And so he started the scholarship and he did it on his own. He's funded it on his own so far. Um, and uh, he's got it up to, I think, $4,000. They're, they're shooting to get to 25000 so it would be endowed and it would fund itself. And uh, it will give every year a underprivileged student um, I believe it's uh, three thousand dollars. So, over the years, reading about your mom, uh, she had if she had a passion for justice, she also had a passion for learning. Yes, uh, I mean oh, she yeah. self improvement was was mm -hmm. a part of her, a part of her ethic mm -hmm. anyway, a part of her dynamic. She went to Wayne State University. Prior to that, she graduated from Carnegie Institute in 1963 which was a medical uh, technician, and she graduated with the highest honors in her class. And this is a woman who dropped out of school at 16, but um, she was very intelligent, and she was very strong on education, and I'll say that. She, to protest the uh, Detroit, Michigan, uh, well, actually Michigan's law, that a 16-year-old could drop out of school. That's so helpful. And she felt that at 16, you didn't have enough learning and common sense experience to make that decision because that would be a decision that would affect you for the rest of your life. And so she pulled Tommy and I, my older brother, out of school in protest and forced them <gasps> to prosecute her, <laughs> to make the statement so that it would be on the record that she, how she felt that a 16-year-old should not be allowed to drop out of school. She felt, that, she felt that the compulsory education level age targeted the underprivileged because those were the kids that dropped out for various reasons. More, and more, more, yeah, more, more of them, yeah. To, yeah. yeah. And that if, uh, if, if the compulsory education level at least saw to it that most kids would get a high school diploma, then they would have what used to be a pretty good leveling card. Your, your diploma kind of helped you. It's not worth a whole lot now, but it sure was then. Yeah. So it, it, it just, uh, you know, it was fitting that my son, uh, I was so, I mean, I didn't have the, I don't, don't, I still don't have the words to say because he did it on his own initiative and, and it was all his own idea and got Adrian College to help and um, so it, it was, to me, it was just amazing and it was very, very special. So, you know, you're back in Michigan, some of, and uh, in the Pacific Northwest. And Sally has gone to the old country, mm -hmm. walking those that that same soil, those Love woods. The, what? Yeah, do, and I feel you see, her there. You feel your mom. You see her. Do you? Uh, there's rock quarries everywhere, and now I understand why she would pack us kids up in the car okay. and say we were going rock hounding, and she'd drive us to quarries, and we'd dig, 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 and then we'd find these rocks and take them home and she'd look them up and identify them, put them on a board. We had a, a rock polisher going 24 seven in our living room. And these things would look a mess when she'd put them in and she'd take them out a few days later and they were like beautiful gemstones. And now it all makes sense because I live near the gray fossil site and it's all her home. And I just love it. You know, I feel closer to her now. I feel like I'm learning more about her now. Thanks to all of you for being with us, and thank you for this extra time for our online edition. Thanks to you for watching, and see you next time.
This program is made possible in part by the Moving Image Trust Fund.